quick video I have here. I have this old uh, Range Max, it's a Netgear Duo wireless router that it took apart just to get to this button that you use to press the WDS, W excuse me, WPS button, which was broken. So it wasn't really broken, but it was just out of line. So what I had to do to get into this router, you're gonna need a number eight Torx bit or Torx A screwdriver. And you gotta remove, let me move this out the way. There's a total of six screws underneath and underneath these rubber, let me just get a better look here. You see these four rubber covers? They're screws underneath. So you just gotta pop them out a little bit to the side and then remove the six screws and then voila, inside the router. And you just disconnect this connector here, this pin here, and this top piece should separate. Then once you get the top piece off, over here is where all the fun is or where all the magic is. But just be careful, folks, when you're putting this back together that you don't break these plastic endings because it is plastic and plastic is very delicate. So just take your time when you're taking this thing apart and putting it back together. So that's how you take apart this router. Any questions or concerns, you can just leave it in the comment section. I'll address it in a follow-up video or response. Thanks and have a great day and hope this helps out. And save you for buying another router. Until then, take care.